Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm going to be talking about what happened to the S string pattern lines from Wilson. Um, about six years ago, Wilson introduced pretty much the whole line in S patterns. But what happened to them now? Stay tuned. All right, guys, so about six years ago, Wilson decided to add an S to the whole line of rackets. Now, what did that S stand for? Well, it stood for spin. And they decided to spin out every, well, at least one racket of every single line that they made, right? We had a pro staff in an S. It was an LS, light spin, but it was a pro staff in a spin pattern. We had a Blade 98S, which a lot of you still talk about. Uh, we had the Burn in three lines, the ULS, Ultra Light Spin, LS, Light Spin, and then the 100S, so the regular 100, but in a spin pattern. And then they had the Steam in a 99S, a 105S, and then they had the Power Series, which was the 100XP, 100S, they had the XP in a 110S. Um, and then they also had an XP 100LS, light spin. So that was the power series. Now, why did they do it? Well, they did it so they could have you break more strings. No, just kidding. But it's actually part of the reason. Um, so S meaning spin. They created spin. So how did... They S pattern string patterns work. Well, they had, they basically flip flop the main and the cross uh, in terms of string pattern. So usually it was 18 mains by 16 crosses. Or sometimes, oh, I, I missed one, the Juice, the Juice 100 uh, S, which was a 16 main, 15 cross. So think about it, 16 mains, which was a standard main pattern, but you are losing four crosses, which means the squares are wider, um, spaced out wider. So the squares are bigger. So for example, I have a standard pro staff right here, right? That's new. And then I have this LS version where the squares are bigger. All right, I'm gonna just show you the difference. This is a subtle difference because it's a pro staff, but you, the, those of you who own blades, uh, it's probably just like this too. The big, the squares are a little bigger, right? The strings are spaced out further apart. Now, why did they do this? Well it's to impart more spin on the ball. When there's more space in between the strings, it, it allows for it to move more freely and easier, right? Did it work? Well, yes, yes, it did work. Uh, it, helped, it helped you put, provides, it helped you impart spin on the ball. It helped you impart a lot of spin on the ball. Those of you who hit with topspin already gained probably twice as much spin, if not more, because it was easier to impart it. Now, it was that snapback and more space for the string to freely move that, get, that helped you gain that spin, right? Less strings, more spin, right? Now, I, I can actually attest to this because when I first switched to the burn, the first one they introduced was the 100S. And I started playing with it and I was breaking strings twice as fast. I mean, literally, I don't, I don't actually break strings very much uh, because I'm always testing strings and cutting it out, but I was breaking strings then. And I'm 
pretty much never break strings uh, because I cut them out so quickly. But I've had a bunch of women who played or switched to the Steam, the Steam 105S, and they were breaking strings like potato chips. It was ridiculous. I mean, not to say anything bad, but these ladies had no business breaking strings, but they were breaking strings. And I was literally seeing them every three weeks, once a month. I mean, I don't see these ladies. I see these ladies maybe once a year, right? And I would have to cut the strings out myself. And they're, but they're breaking strings now. So did it work? Well, of course it did, right? They, they were getting spin, right? Automatically from the string pattern. The strings were moving, they were sliding, they were snapping, right? The only downside was they had to see me every month. I don't know, you, you tell me, was that a bad thing? <laughs> but either way, right? The string pattern worked. Um, I still string Juice 100S's today because people still love those. They still look for those. It's a 16 by 15 pattern, right? I see people once a week on those rackets because they break so fast. They're literally using Luxalon Big Banger Original and breaking them. So even if you put super strong string in there, um, they're gonna break because of all the movement and the friction that it's allowing the strings to get or give. Um, I had this one guy named Steven uh, big strong dude. He, he has only one speed and it's swing for the fence. And he had a 105 S, uh, I think it was a juice 105 S or an ultra 105 S 103 S, excuse me, 103 S. Uh, that was actually second generation spin, uh, rackets. He was giving me three rackets every two weeks. I was just struggling to try to keep you know, a string from breaking or lasting a little longer on his racket. I mean, I went from like Big Bang Original to RPM 15 Lite to Kevlar. I even tested out some kind of fishing line that was like a 14 gauge on his mains so it wouldn't break. He broke that in four weeks. It's, it's crazy how the S pattern um, allows for more spin yet breaks faster. So where are these rackets today? Well, um, the ones that didn't do too well, uh, the power rackets, the XP 100S, the XP 100 LS, the light spin, and the XP 110 S uh, were the first to go. Uh, they lasted about two years. Um, not sure what happened to that market. That 100 S was actually really good. That XP 100 S reminded me of like a, a hammer 2.7 back in the day, um, but it didn't do well. All of those lasted literally two years. Um, the Steams got, the Steam 99S and the Steam 105S got facelifts after um, two years and Kavitova's face got taken out of there um, and they changed it from red and white to green and black. So then those became kind of like the, $150, you know, big five dicks kind of rackets. I think they're still around today, unless they just, uh, um, you know, discontinued those. Um, the Juice uh, stuck around for a little bit, um, eventually got changed to Ultra. Uh, and then I think there's no more S's in the current Ultra line. Um, what else was there? The Pro Staff also in that LS pattern, um, gone. Uh, after two years, the Blade 98S uh, stuck around for about four years. So it got a facelift after two, two more years, and it got nixed after that. So that lasted four years. Uh, people still ask for that racket today. Um, the Finally, the only really line that survived in an S pattern are the burns, you know, as I have here today. I mean, this was the first burn I used and it's the 100S, and this hasn't changed. Uh, this is what they call version four, two, and this really hasn't changed much since the first generation. You know, they added the stupid counter veil, but now it's taken out. Um, but this, this is a 100S if you're still looking for one from 
like six years ago. Um, this is the ULS. And then there's also an LS in between, a light spin that's in between these two weights. But um, if you want to hit hard, you want to hit with a lot of spin, right there, that's going to give you a lot of spin. Uh, if you're a little younger, right, um, and you want spin, go for the ULS, right? If you're maybe a woman um, and you want spin, and hopefully you don't break strings, you go for the LS that's in between these two. But these are the basically the only ones that are surviving now. I think this is this represents S now for Wilson. Um, everything else, I believe, is gone. So six years later, Burn is the only one that survives. These are now price point rackets. Um, this one, I believe, is one forty nine ninety nine. These are, I think, one twenty nine or one thirty nine, and the LS is right there too at one thirty nine, one twenty nine. So if you're still in the S pattern and you want a lot more spin, um, naturally, you know, these rackets will definitely help that. Um, especially if you put like a, a poly in here, like a Hyper G Confidential uh, 48 pounds, you're gonna get a lot of spin and you're gonna get a lot of easy spin from these type of rackets. All right, so if you're still looking for S's, these are what you're gonna get, all right? And these are good prices for what you're gonna get too that's what happened so in the last six seven years uh spin has gone from being part of wilson's whole line to kind of just surviving in the burn line so that's what happened to the wilson s string pattern line um, did you guys own an s line from wilson did you like it um, i'll bet one of you or a bunch of you own that Blade 98S, because that was probably the most popular of the line, aside from um, the Juice, because I still see those too. All right, uh, let me know. Did you break strings uh, at an alarming rate? Uh, but did you enjoy the spin? Uh, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.